Hampton! Pat is now in session! No more stalling! Tell Raz what's happening at the Crystal Tower, now! Climb the Watchtower and see for yourself! Why did you tell him that? His teeth were very sharp, Dumbledore. The Crystal Tower isn't supposed to do that, yes? The tower started glowing right before you arrived. Raz was nearby when he heard that the Sapiarchs were up to something at the Crystal Tower. This one didn't expect the tower to start glowing. I hope this is the work of the Sijix, yes? Daedric Princess. Raz hates those things. So that would be a yes on the Bad for Somerset question. Infinite. A number so big it makes Raz's head swim just trying to imagine it. So what should we do about this? You have a plan to save the day, yes? So that is what the Sapiarchs are doing at the gatehouse. Raz should have known. Magic makes this one's fur stand on end. All right. Let's go to the gatehouse and see how the Sapiarchs are coming along before something else happens to the tower. The tower! What's happening? Raz thinks this is bad. Come, my friend, to the gatehouse! Time is running out. The Sapiarchs still haven't completed their ritual, and now Nocturnal has launched an attack against them. I sent Darien and Razumdar to defend the Sapiarchs, but the Daedra keep on coming. I'll stay here and try to assist with the ritual. You go and help Darien and Razumdar. We need to buy... While the Sapiarchs here work to attune themselves to the Resolute Diamonds, other Sapiarchs perform their parts of the ritual at the North and South platforms. Now...
finish the ritual. We will keep you safe. We'll finish up here. Stay focused, Sapiark. We'll deal with the Daedra. up here. The energy. Something feels wrong. No! I, I think it's working! Ah! Damn it! No! <sighs> that was unexpected, yes. The Sapiarchs are dead. Now what do we do? I knew this wasn't going to work. Speeding up the Sapiok ritual was a long shot at best. We should have had the Conclave working on a solution all along. The... You're right. Even without the right master, we can still do this. I can take the Resolute Diamonds and return to Arteum immediately. But no, that was a bad idea the first time Lathan suggested it. I'll take the Diamonds to Arteum and get to work immediately. Meanwhile, I need you to go to Eleanor and warn the Proxy Queen. Darian, gather the diamond keys. The city yeah. order will do what the Sapiocs could not. No. Yeah. Yeah.
This one has seen many bizarre things working as an eye of the queen, but this may take the moon sugar cake. A strange dog walked up and spoke to Raz. That is what Raz said, a dog. It spoke words as clear as day. It gave me a message to give to you. The dog said, yes, yes, Raz will go warn the Praxy Queen. That would be for the best. A thousand pardons, but the battery requires your prompt appearance at of divine prosecution seeks deputies with moral the death aptitude. Of me. It's me. Vile told me to find the mortal flea that continues to pester him and deliver a message. He's terrible with mortal names, but I immediately thought of you. Glad to see that my intuition's as sharp as ever. Oh, my master's less than pleased with the way Nocturnal treated him. He wanted to be the first one to betray the Triad. Look, he wanted me to make sure to tell you he's not upset about the whole Vivette thing. At least, not anymore. Probably wants to make some kind of a deal. That's his bread and butter, you know. You can do what you want, but I figure you're even more angry with Nocturnal for the way she evaporated your friend and took the heart of transparent law. He told me you could find him in the caves just north of the city. Just be nice to him when you get there. My master has been livid since Nocturnal betrayed him. That's why I've been keeping my distance. Do me a favor and try not to make him any more irritated when you talk to him. What? You never heard of the Daedric Prince of Bargains? The ruler of the Fields of Regret? And the Lord of Tricks and Wishes? I'm Barvis! Sure, I may look like a talking dog, but I'm actually... A talking dog! I'm my master's faithful hound and servant. Although I have a tendency to annoy my prince. Uh, not sure why that is. Anyway, this is just one of my favorite forms. These mysterious deaths are our business to solve, not yours.
at that. You can follow directions. My master's waiting for you deeper inside. I think I'll wait here. Vile let some of his more ferocious minions loose in the cave, and so... Even in death they serve. So, the Hound found you. Good. Let's discuss in the yeah. ring. Don't let these crumbled husks trouble you. I needed to vent my frustrations, and my loyal followers were close at hand. Yes. Yes, I did. I assumed Barbers would have made that clear. I admire your persistence almost as much as I hate the fact that you constantly oppose me. Still, Nocturnal couldn't dispatch you, which indicates you may be useful to me after all. We have a common cause now, you and I. A common enemy. Not you killed my court of Bedlam, Earl. You dispatched our pet sea slow. I hate you, but I also respect you. And I Upstairs, you'll find a key. With it, your Sigic friends can get you to my realm where I can direct you to the Crystal Tower. Haven't you learned anything? The Crystal Tower exists in all realms. In my realm, however, there is no gatehouse to block your way. Just a problem, certainly. But one I'm sure you can overcome. Perhaps another prince will be willing to help you. I leave... I'm sure something of value will suggest itself when the time is right. I promise that whatever I ask for as compensation, it will not unduly cost you. Anyway. The Golden Knight has taken matters into his own hands. He set Lathan free and returned with him to Somerset. Who knows what all that time in Meridia's realm did to Darien's mind. He couldn't have gotten off the island without Lathan's help, and Lathan needed his assistance to circumvent the wards placed upon him. I sense Darien in Somerset's northwest region, but Lathan's magic prevents me from identifying a more precise location. I'll find you as soon as the diamond keys are ready to use. Many us! Use them!
Enough, Silary. These mysterious. Hurry up, Lathan. They could find us at any moment. Something's wrong. Wrong? Why doesn't that surprise me? Now, don't get mad, but there's a perfectly good explanation why Lathan and I busted out of Arteum and came to this charming little hideaway. The intentions of the Sijiks are good, but we're running out of time. Now, don't get mad. The intentions of the Sijiks are good, but we're running out of time. Not you, too. I got enough doubt and dirty looks back in Arteum. Look, Mephala was betrayed by Nocturnal. It stands to reason she might want to help us. I knew I could count on you. As for Lathan, you should talk to him. But we could... If you want to return me to Arteum, I won't resist you. But first, I need to find out if the rest of Mythala's followers are safe. I am, but I'm surprised that you'd go along with that. If we can get inside and reach Mythala's shrine, I can attempt to make contact with my prince. Not exactly, but it's obvious to me that you believe that's what's happened. I need to see for myself. In any event, there's no harm in approaching Mythala's shrine. I'm just a little concerned that it took me so long to open this door. It should have been a simple matter to identify myself and unlock the door. But the spells in place resisted me. It's as if I've lost my status as Mythala's Earl. My prince deals in secrets and hidden lore. If anyone can activate the keys to the Crystal Tower, she can. That was our original plan, before you intervened. I'm just guessing, mind you, but I imagine someone with the abilities of a Daedric Prince, who possesses the heart of transparent law, could walk into the Crystal Tower as easily as you or I could cross the threshold of an inn. I spent years on that damnable island, 
Do you think the Sijic's magic could long hold someone who knows the intricacies of the place? With the... How did this happen? My people should have been safe within these walls. Nocturnal's been eliminating the sex of the other princes. Are you surprised she'd turn on her former allies? I recruited most of these men and women. I was responsible for them. Scout ahead and find the shrine. I'll stay with Lathan until he's ready to move on. that it had to end this way but my mistress will not be denied butcher how dare you pretend to care about the men and women you slaughtered every action i performed was in the service of nocturnal's grand plan lathan she has my i never trusted nocturnal's earl a dark elf in the court of bedlam <laughs> i never trusted nocturnal's earl a dark nocturnal's champion is reckless and quick to anger. We can take advantage of that. Perhaps get her to slip up and reveal what's going on here. Nocturnal's magic is at work here. See how the Yagra have mutated into creatures of shadow? We need to follow Nocturnal's Earl. Harry her. Make her so mad she tells us everything. Champion of Nocturnal! What magic is this? I've never seen anything like it. This was always the plan. Nocturnal's plan. So Nocturnal did betray my mistress. Your mistress is weak. Come with me, and I'll show you what true power looks like. Lathan, no! Come on! We can't let them get away! This magic, it destroys everything. What good is power if there's nothing left to rule? This is what the court wanted all along. 
An end to the old ways. A new beginning. I won't be party to the death of innocence. I won't... Let him go. Be silent, knight, or I'll let you taste the blade you once carried. I wish to speak to your friend now. I'm sorry it had to come to this, but nothing can stop the magic of the pearls now. My mistress offers a small mercy. Leave her to finish her work, and she'll kill the Sijiks quickly. The Seaslode trinkets? It was an easy matter for my mistress to alter the magic. To use their ability to siphon life energy and funnel it into the Crystal Tower. Stop calling me that! Bea died on a cold, hard floor in Balmora. I'm Tundalwind now, champion of Nocturnal. As the Crystal Tower fills with power drawn from this dying world, it will provide my mistress with what she needs to remake reality. Mephala and Clavicus Vile are fledglings compared to my mistress. Good luck with that. Now stay out of the way or death will be the least of your concerns. Nocturnal must pay for betraying my mistress. But the magic of the Abyssal Pearls appears to do more than just siphon our life energy. It obscures my connection to Mathala. While a consecrated shrine offers the best conduit to a Daedric Prince, there are other means. In the back chambers, I have a way to communicate privately with my Prince. She's gone. I no longer sense her presence here. The Abyssal Pearls, however... The court helped seed them throughout Somerset. Darian. Go the other way and meet us in the back chambers. We want to make sure Nocturnal's Earl didn't leave us any surprises. I'll go. But if this is just a ploy so you can betray us, you'll have to deal with me. Destroy that creature, and then I can contact my prince. There you are! This place is a meridian light! What is that thing? Outside, and we'll make contact with my prince. Mathala, appear before your faithful servant. I answer my Earl's summons only to find him with these unworthies. Do you betray me too, Laban? Never, my prince. We share a common enemy now. Please, talk to them and hear what they have to say. So, the mortal who 
opposed me wants to speak. If what you say doesn't interest me, I will order Lathan to kill you. And what did the cowardly Prince of Bargains offer you? Was it something so intriguing that you would risk my wrath as well? You would challenge Nocturnal in the Crystal Tower? Since gaining the Heart of Transparent Law, the Tower serves as an extension of her own realm. It amuses me that you want to thwart her plans. She'll destroy you, of course, but I'm still amused. How desperate you must be to offer the very relics I once sought. I will think upon your request. Before you enter Vile's realm, have my Earl contact me again. That's it? A maybe? I'll return to Arteum with Darien and tell them what we learned. Meet us there. We failed. The Conclave, despite its best efforts, wasn't able to attune the Resolute Diamonds. We can't use the Diamond Keys to enter the Crystal Tower. Using the Crystal Tower and Sotha Seal's technique for utilizing life energy? Then we really are doomed. Is that what the Sigic Order is reduced to? For I opposed this line of reasoning when Lathan first suggested it. As bargains with the princes don't often end well. But what choice do we have? Still, thanks for finding a way forward. I'll start making preparations for the Dreaming Cave. In the meantime, Sotha Seal asked me to send you to his study the moment you arrive. Something to do with the Crystal Tower, no doubt. Sotha Seal has never been forthcoming, though for some reason it appears that he's taken a liking to you. Both decided to return? I'm surprised. Meridia's knight has a stake in this, but why would Lathan volunteer to return? So the seal waits for you in his study. The Tribunal has been warned. They will make preparations in case the efforts here fail. I doubt that even they can weather the resulting storm if the worst comes to pass. In part, determining the possible consequences of disparate actions becomes easier when studying the primary catalyst. You have a tendency to fill that role in almost all situations. A bold move. Still, I see the logic. Who better to send against their betrayer than the mortal who bested their plans at every turn? If Mafala agrees, you'll be able to assault the tower. I'm not sure that's within the capability of the Crystal Tower, but if she uses my technique for siphoning life energy to supercharge the tower... Hmm... If Nocturnal uses the life force of Nern to increase the power of the Crystal Tower, she can then use the same technique to steal the energy of the Daedric Princes as she invades their realms. 
Gather your companions and meet me in the Dreaming Cave. We must contact Vile and Mafala so you can enter the Crystal Tower, recover the heart of Transparent Law, and repair the Tower Crystal. Transparent Law, the crystal at the top of the tower, is as much metaphysical as it is tangible. Only divine energy can reconnect the heart and make the crystal whole. If Nocturnal performs the restoration, and once again merges the heart with transparent law, her connection to the tower will become unbreakable. You must enter the crystal tower and recover the heart. Then find a relic filled with divine energy and repair transparent law.